Okay, folks, don't laugh, but uh, I ended up making a trade on this little bike. Local fella had it. He didn't know what was wrong with it. He got it on a on a deal as well. It doesn't roll over. It is a 1982 XR80. It's not a large bike. But you know, this bike was made when I was 14 years old. Let me tell you, when I was 14, I would have loved to have one of these. Well, obviously, I'm not 14 anymore. But I got it on a good trade. The seat is down over there. It's got that blue colored tarp on it. And this piece here has broken off, but I can weld that little bracket on there that holds the seat on. I believe that's the right place I'm pointing. So, not a bad trade for what I traded for it. Not too bad at all. Now I'm going to go at it. I'm going to pull that apart. Pull the top end off. Maybe put some oil in the spark plug hole and see if it will roll over. Now I also ended up getting this from him as well. This was an old pressure washer. I just got the engine. The engine starts fine. It is a straight shaft on that. It's a five horse Honda engine. Starts and runs great. So I guess really all I have to do if I want to use it for a pressure washer is get the the pump for it and put it back on there. You can get pumps for these here for around $60. Not too bad. And then I ended up getting this generator as well. Now I didn't trade much for all this obviously. But uh, this has an engine on it that should be a spare one for my sawmill if something ever happens. I do know this is a tapered shaft so it's not going to be exactly the same but there are going to be a lot of parts on there that I can use for my my sawmill and it is electric start as well um, it says Honda EM3500S but I think he said that engine is off of a 6500 that's neither here nor there now I got a lot of spare parts with it as well and uh yeah, like that'll come in handy. I know it's getting messy in here, folks. I know, I gotta go at it and clean it up again. But, uh, I didn't want to turn this little bike down because, I'm telling you, when I was younger, I really wanted one of those. It's not that I really want one now, but, uh, it'll give me something to tinker with as well until the snow goes. And maybe, maybe Heather and I can use it once in a while this summer. Might be fun just to get on it and go for a little rip uh, instead of using the ATV. But that's that's where I'm not at now. I'm going to take that apart and see what's wrong with it. Well, about an hour or so later, maybe less, I have the engine out. I have the valve cover and stuff off of it. Uh, the clutch side off of it. The little head off of it, which don't look too, too bad. The camshaft's in good shape, so is the sprocket. The timing chain looks good too. There's the little engine there. Now there's ice in here. I see ice in here too, but the side does feel a little rusty. But I am going to go at that, put the heat gun to it. See if I can't get that to roll over. I'll be very careful with it and see what I can do. Now they had this welded, they stripped that. Now uh, I'm going to see what it is to get that out of there and see if I can find another one. My brothers might have one of those laying around. But right now, I am going to fire up one of these generators, put them to use with my heat gun and clean this up. See what we got once we're done. All in all, things don't look, I guess that's war a little bit. It's not that bad though, really. Bear in mind, it is uh, just a toy. It's not gonna be something that's built really heavy. <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm gonna get that generator going and uh, I'll see what I can do about getting the heat gun at that and try to melt that ice that didn't take long at all that is rolling over now um, I don't want to jam the chain here because the timing chain will get jammed in there anyways if I roll this over you can actually see that turning uh, 
Well, let's hold it with this finger here. And I'll try to show you how it rolls over here. You see here, I'll grab this. Again, I don't want to see that's going up. It's going down now. Coming back up, but it's a rusty spot right there. So I am going to pop the cylinder off and uh, I'm going to clean that rust from on top of the ridge. It's probably built up a rust layer from sitting. And I don't want to roll it over like that all the way in case I bust the top ring. Moving right along. I think this shouldn't be too bad, but I'm crossing my fingers yet. Well, that is what the piston looks like from out of that little bike. Not too bad at all. I just wiped it down really quick. But uh, the rings are good. They're not... Well, that's not too good for it. I'll tell you, dropping it in the, water, in the snow. <laughs> I tend to do that a lot, don't I? But I'll blow that off and that'll be just fine. Okay, there it is blown off. The rings aren't stuck at all. I took the rings off and uh, cleaned them up really quick, putting them back on. Uh, exhaust side. I put an X there just in case it didn't have it, but it does say exhaust on that on that little piston. Gonna clean up the cylinder walls and uh, make a new base gasket and start putting that back together maybe tomorrow. So that means I will have to time it up as well, but uh, no big deal. A little bit of sawdust in there, I'll have to clean that out. Other than that, not too bad folks, not too bad. The magnet right now is holding it from rolling over. Ouch, pinch my finger. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Nothing to it. I will time that up as well when I put it back together. And I will use some of this uh, this uh, stuff Marty brought for me to put that back together. But the cylinder wall, I'm going to clean that up a little bit and make sure it's not too rust pitted. It don't look like it is, but I'm going to find out real quick. That looks like moisture in there. I'll find out. I'll make a new gasket inside for it. There we go. With the rust ring all gone off there, I think that cylinder, I will just clean it up a little more. You can see a little burn marks in there, but not really deep pits or anything. They're just, they're just coloration, so I'm not too concerned with that. I am going to take some sandpaper, give it a little cross hatching. You can see it doesn't look the greatest in there. You can see down here, right where my finger is, I could use a little cross hatching all the way through with some sandpaper, but other than that, I think I make a gasket for the base here out of cardboard. Yes, cardboard, but the one layer of stuff that you get your cereal in, your cereal box worked good for cardboard for that. And uh, I think I will be ready to put that back together. Yeah, I know it's late, folks. We were we got uh, busy today. Went to the mail and uh, I got something from uh, Big Daddy 1992, Micah. He's actually got a really good channel, folks. He's uh, very fun to watch and a very nice guy to talk to as well. So if you get a chance, folks, stop over and check out Big Daddy 1992. Uh, yeah, anyways, very pleased I won his contest giveaway, which is pretty cool. Like, I was one of the winners. I think there was multiple winners, but I was one. And I received this today in the mail. Now, I did watch what was going to be given away, so I know what it is, so it's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, it, well, it's not kind of cool. It is cool. Sorry. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Bad choice of words. paper. I'm going to take this right out of there. There we go. Now we can cut this. Again, I'm trying not... Something white fell out of it. It was a, I think it's one of those, uh, what do you call those Don't try things? Eat it. Those, um... Don't eat Marshmallows. Yeah. So it's a uh, styrofoam marshmallows. Yes. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> What are they called before? Packing peanuts or packing, packing shells? Packing peanuts. Packing peanuts? I don't know what you call them actually. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be honest, I was kind of lying about that. I really don't... Oh, is this gonna make some mess, Heather? It's okay. 
It's okay, just open open the package. Dog's like, it's fine. let me in there. Oh yeah, he wants to mess around with that. <laughs> yes, he does. Maybe I can take it out in a way where it doesn't make too much of a mess. He's just trying to sniff my fingers. Oh, he's sniffing everything in there now. Dogs have good noses. Watch yourself. This looks pretty cool already, folks. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Made that is by cool. Walt. I'm gonna set this down here. Watch yourself, Wojo, please. Step aside. Don't be eating those. So, we have a really, really nice DeWalt organizer. Can you see that? Now, how does it open up here? Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Is there a latch here somewhere? Oh, right here. <laughs> wow. Now, look at that. These come out as well. That's way really cool. What do we got here? Hope you can use the light. Thought you could, Micah. Oh, cool. There's even a light in here. Right That's on. Neat. Well, thank you very much. Right I could have used that today when I was up at the old house working. You know that? Yeah. You know no, what? That's really cool. I, I won't use it there. I'll put it right here. Are we ready? Oh, that's bright. Holy, that's bright. I was not expecting that. Wow, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Micah. I am glad I won the contest. That's pretty cool. Two modes. High, 150 lumens with 2.5 hours runtime. Low, 80 lumens with 4 hours runtime. Three AAA batteries included. I have some AAA batteries that are rechargeable as well, so that's what I will use. But that is very cool. Thank you very much. I am excited to get my stuff in there and get them get them organized. I will probably put all my screwdriver bits in there mm -hmm. for that. From that's that. a good idea. Yes, yeah. I never thought of it, but I have I have a bunch of like they're not great screwdriver. They're not dr great driver bits. Some of them are old, and I get them at yard sales and whatnot. Or if I buy a car, sometimes they're in the trunk. So I take them out, run them clean on the buffer, and that's what I use. There's even a spot for little ones in here. Look at this. There's a spot for some in there, too. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you very much, Micah. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm glad I won the contest. That's really cool. Check that out. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah, that's the back. Yeah, it's awesome. built. It's built sturdy. Mm -hmm. I am really impressed with Dewalt stuff. Like they they built some built some really good stuff. Since I got that, since uh, Tony Hammerlink and Natalie and the boys sent me that drill set, um, the Dewalt drill set. I don't use anything but that. I don't the the quarter inch impact. I use that to take that whole motorcycle apart today, and it was great. Anyways. Uh, Thanks again, and uh, you folks take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.